<laughs> well, it says here that today's schedule is actually pretty open. They have like one little thing in the hangar at 10 a.m., so I guess I'll check that out. But hey, other than that, should be a pretty easy day. Hopefully, I can go home early and uh, you know catch up on some Golden Girls. See, what the fuck? You gotta be fucking kidding me! <sighs> Alright. I, I don't know why we're still doing the Eco Plug. It doesn't make any goddamn sense when I've already proven they're ineffective in battle. I'll go through it, I'll go through the motions, but I swear to God, this is not gonna get any kind of pass. Who the fuck's piloting it? Is it Quattro? Is it that sick son of a bitch thinking that he's like the greatest goddamn pilot that ever lived? If it's Camille, he's gonna fucking die. I swear to God. That kid's gonna just jump in there and the Psycho Gundam that just destroyed an entire fucking city will, will annihilate him. But whatever. It is what it is. Another plastic model suit. I mean, what are they thinking? What's next? You're gonna have like a art exhibit mobile suit? You're gonna have a, a fork Gundam, or even, even hell, a Hello Kitty Gundam, why not, huh? This shit's just insane at this point. I, I don't know how much longer I can keep my sanity, to be honest. Alright, so today guys, we're doing the inspection on the Gundam Mark II. This is the Ecoplot version, so, like I mentioned before, recycled plastic. Uh, I, I don't get it either, but let's just push through. The overall height is going to be 19.6 meters, that's going to be with the Vulcan pod on. Then you're going to have a weight of 54.1 metric tons, and that's going to be with all the equipment equipped. Now the surface level details are looking really good. You're going to have just the ventilations that's going to be on the side of the legs. You're going to have some that's going to be on the chest as well on the front skirt. So overall it does look good at a surface level, but it's all about performance and output here. Now for articulation, honestly there's nothing to write home about. It's Still not horrible. It can do the maneuvers appropriately, but with having a more rounded hip joint, that leg is not going to be doing much of anything in terms of splits. It can go up and down. That's really about it. And the feet, eh, they can point down, but they cannot move up. So you're going to have a hard time whenever you're stepping off because it's not going to be able to rotate up. Other than that, it's a pretty dated mobile suit, but it can still get the job done. Now in the case it does get damaged and parts need to get repaired, or we need to custom it or just replace something altogether, we can go to new type and get something. But it's not going to be Eco Plus, it's just going to have to be something completely different. Maybe we can get a Mark II, but it might have to be just something else, maybe something borrowed from like a GM or the ARC 78-2. But we can go to new type and grab some parts from there or tools and supplies as necessary. Now this is going to come with a special decal sheet guys. It does say Gumpla and Bandai and all this other crazy stuff and Hobby. I don't know what any of this is. I never heard of Bandai before. It must be like some kind of foreign uh, company. And I don't know what Gumpla is. Uh, maybe Gumpla Plastic? Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that are going to come with it. The first thing we're taking a look at is going to be the Vulcan Pod that gets attached to the head. And that's going to have a 60 millimeter Vulcan gun on the side of it. So that's really good because the head itself does not have Vulcans. This can be a little attachment so that way you can help it out and just give it some more uh, ammunition. Let's go ahead and step out to the test site. Now we're going to take a look at the beam rifle. It's kind of more of a standardized beam rifle. It does have a handle so that way the hand can grab onto it. But other than that, it's a pretty standard uh, beam rifle. If it had the means on this particular suit, it could mount on the side skirt, but this particular one uh, does not have the capabilities of being stored on the side skirt. So that's going to be more of an updated version of the Mark II can do that, not this particular one. Now we are going to have two beam sabers, but they are going to be recyclable plastic. I don't get it. Recycled plastic beam sabers, guys. That's what, that's what we're rolling with. We're not using an actual beam saber. It's just, you're going to hit them with some plastic on the metal enemies. May God help the pilot. And next we're going to have is the Hyper Bazooka. This can actually be stored on the back of the waist, much like the RX-78-2. Great weapon. I have no issues with it. It looks fantastic. So, yeah, definitely a staple weapon for the Mark II. And next we're going to have is going to be the shield. So the shield, the original shield, actually had an anti 
beam coating on it, but with this being plastic, I don't know if they put the coating on there. So if that beam saber or any kind of beam weaponry comes anywhere near this thing, it is going to melt. So I hope they put the beam coating on there just to give that extra resistance. In fact, I hope they put the beam coating on the entirety of this mobile suit to give it any kind of edge it needs in battle. And it can also switch between the back of the arm and the side of the forearm. Alright guys, so to summarize this inspection, it's, it's just not safe for battle. Uh, honestly, there's way too many discrepancies at hand. The big one being that it's made out of recyclable plastic. The beam saber, recyclable plastic. The articulation is not really that great. It can do what it needs to do, but it's not great. And it kind of worries me whenever it goes out into the battlefield if it can pull off some very acrobatic kind of maneuvers because we're going against things that are just otherworldly, to be honest. Things that have crazy ass proportions and just can do dynamic stunts. So with this thing kind of being more blocky, cannot do an ab crunch, can't really do much of anything, it's going to be at risk of uh, being blown up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and deem it uh, not safe for the battlefield. Uh, it looks cool though, put it in a museum. That's kind of nifty, we use recycled plastic to make a mobile suit, that's, that's something. But uh, other than that guys, I'm gonna have to say uh, this is a no-go, but. Thank you all for uh, being over here for the inspection. Uh, I do expect the corrective action reports to be on my desk uh, by Monday morning. So uh, definitely put that into my inbox. And other than that, guys, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for participating. And I'll see you all in the next inspection.